Okay, Richard has uh, placed the electro cap, got everything ready, and now we're going to show how to set up the software for a mini-Q assessment. Uh, we've started the 3.4 software, and we're just starting from where we've got the setup home screen on screen, and we simply are going to go through the following steps. Uh, we choose first folder selections, and we're going to create a new folder. And here is where you would put the name of the trainee. Uh, so I'm just going to say Cleveland, uh, uh, February 2009, just to name that. Uh, use name for file ID. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And all we've got to do once we now have the settings file list placed in front of us, we go down until we find mini queues. I see mini Q2, four channels, 60 second runs. That's what we're going to do. It's a four channel instrument. We're going to do 60 second runs. We hit OK. We're basically ready to begin, but what we're going to do is um, go viewer change settings and data channels. And we're going to go into electrodes and trainee info. And we want a good age here. So we put in 34 for the age. We're also going to put in eyes closed. So we put in the uh, fact that the eyes are closed. Uh, you'll see that it says use session wizard to control session. Use for mini queue. This means it's all ready to go. Uh, for people who are curious about what's going on beneath, you could press session wizard, view template file, and over uh, what pops up, this is the script. The session wizard is a programming language. And it's very obvious what this is saying. Brain Master Session Wizard Control File Version 1 Name Standard 4 Channel, etc. Uh, N Chance is 4, and it says do. Give me a message. Set switch to position 1, FCC ZT3 T4. The sites are then given. FCC whatever. Period 60. Then it says message 1. Set switch to position 2, etc. So this is a script for the session as the session is going to proceed. This can be changed. If you wanted to do two minutes, you'd simply go in here and change that 60 to 120. And uh, you can use this as a general tool for things other than assessments, but this is basically all that's needed. Uh, we're now basically ready at this point uh, to perform the mini queue. So there's really not much more than that to the setup. So I'll begin then to run the session, and we'll make sure the connections look good. I'll go run the next session. And we get our training screen up. I'll enlarge it. All I do here is hit go. It says number of periods in session, five. Number of pauses in session, five. Total time in session, 300 seconds. So that's OK. And we let it get started. And it says set switch to position one, FZCZ T3 T4. So I go over here. I make sure that it's on position one. And I make sure, sure enough, FCCZ T3, T4 is what we want. So I'll say OK. Now we're running Z scores as well. This is saying initializing Z score training, age 34, eyes closed, FCCZ T3, T4. So as we run this assessment, we're also going to be viewing live Z scores uh, as a reference and also something we could actually get a report from later. OK. Beautiful. It says module is running. To start this session, press OK when EEG signal is good. Press cancel to cancel this session for now. Now the procedure that we've adopted says we want to check all the sensors now before the uh, boat leaves. So I'm going to come over here. And this is position one. Everything looks good. I'm going to go to position two. Simply make sure that everything looks reasonably good. I see again four traces, a nice EEG. Go to position three, give it a chance. Beautiful, four channels, a nice EEG. And position four, there we have four nice channels of EEG. And finally, on position five, I expect three good channels of EEG and one noisy because this cap doesn't have OZ connected. So we're going to disregard that. So basically, we're in real good shape. I'm going to ask the subject to close the eyes. And we'll be taking five one-minute samples. And during that period of time, the only instructions to the group are simply to remain silent. And the subject will sit quietly for five minutes. And we'll review the records, take the records, and uh, 
in five minutes, we'll be able to review them. So let's proceed. Okay, you can see we have all normal Z scores, a little bit of hypocoherence in beta, FZ to CZ, that's the only deviation seen right now, okay? Okay, position two, F3, F4, O1, O2. We let the signal stabilize and we carry on. Observe the occipital alpha, very pronounced, waxing and waning, symmetrical. All the z-scores are normal. We see a field of white and just a little bit of hypocoherence 0102. Okay. And a little bit F3, F4 as well. Just a little bit. Position three, C3, C4, F7, F8, wait for clean signals. Z-scores in this situation are entirely normal. A little bit of hypocoherence C3 to F7, little left hemispheric, just a touch. Okay, position four will be P3, P4, T5, T6. Wait for a clean signal. We already see pronounced alpha, as we expect in the, in the rear. The Z-scores will tell us how it looks. Basically normal, entirely normal, very slight hypocoherence P3 to T5 in beta and a very, very slight P3, P4 hypocoherence. Basically normal. 